If two things are in direct proportion, then as one thing increases, the other also increases. Now, a typical graph for direct proportion would look like this. For example, some people pay is in direct proportion to the number of hours they work. As they work more hours, okay, their pay increases. Now, let's see a typical exam style question for direct proportion. Remember, in direct proportion, when one item increases, the other also increases. Here, we need to work out an equation connecting the y and x. So, the two things here is y and x. So, we'll begin first with the first line. Y is directly proportional to x. So, we write this way. Y is directly proportional to x. Now, swap this sign with an equal sign. So, that's going to be equals and then include k. k is a constant and I put my x. Now, this will mean k times x. Now, with the value for y and x given here, I substitute here. So, y is 35 equals and k. K is a constant times x and x is 7. Now I can calculate the value for k. So k is going to be 35 divided by 7, and that's going to give us 5. Now this constant 5, I'm going to substitute for k here in this equation to get a connecting equation. So to help me with that, I'm going to draw a line here. Okay, that's going to help me. And I substitute the value for k here. So y is going to be equals to k, and k is 5, 5x. Five now, this is the equation connecting y and x. Okay, and now we move on to the next question. Now, in this question, we will notice that um, we're not asked to find an equation connecting one x, so okay, but that's gonna we still need it to solve this equation, okay? All right. So begin with the first line. Y is proportional to the square of x, so we write it this way. Y is proportional to the square of x. Now uh, this is gonna be the square of x. Next, I'm gonna replace or swap this sign with an equals and in include the k constant. So we have y equals the k, that's the constant, times the square of x. Now I'll replace the value for y and x with this value here. So y is 5 equals k, the constant, times x squared. Now x is 4, so I have 4 squared. Now let's see how we can simplify this further. So this is going to give us 5 is equals to k times 4 squared is 4 times 4, and that's 16. Now we can get a value for k. Now k is going to be 5 over 16. So I'm going to take this value, k, 5 over 16, and put in this connecting equation. But first, I'm going to draw a line, just for emphasis. Good. So what I'm going to do, put k here. So we have y equals k and k is 5 over 16 x squared now very important what we have here is the connecting equation right okay i can just literally change the color for that for red okay this is going to be the connecting equation now this connecting equation is very 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 important because we're going to use it to work out the value of y when x is 8. So, again, I substitute the value for x 8 here, okay, here, to get the value for y, because that's what we're looking for. All right, so y is going to be equals, now, 5 over 16 times x squared, and x is 8, so that's going to be 8 squared. Already you know it's going to be 5 over 16 times a squared is going to be 64. And if you try to solve this, you can find that 16 can go in 64 uh, four times. So have 4 times 5, and 4 times 5 will give us 20. So y is going to be 20.